Manny Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn, April 23rd at Suncorp Stadium in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk. And you already know what I'm here to talk about. Manny Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn. This fight is likely to happen April 23rd at Suncorp Stadium in Australia, the home country of Jeff Horn, who goes by Jeff the Hornet Horn. Uh, he's 28 years old. He's a former school teacher. I wanted to do some research and watch some of his fights before I made this video on this topic. I watched this fight with Randall Bailey and um, and Ali Funeka. Both won, both wins. Um, the the win over Bailey was a TKO in the seventh round when Bailey couldn't continue, and the win over Funeka was also a TKO. He dropped him twice. He was dropped in both fights. He was dropped uh, with a right hand, uh, a right a counter right hand um, by Bailey in their fight, and was clearly uh, shook up. And he was dropped by like a right uppercut to the body by Funeka. Really wasn't hurt, but still he was dropped. And I wanted to see how he how he performs, what kind of skills he has, you know, to see if this is a fight that can be somewhat competitive. And after watching his fights, no. Manny Pacquiao is on a whole different level than Jeff Horn um, will ever, you know, dream to be on. He does do some good things, but the old saying, excuse me, is styles make fights. And this is not a stylistic matchup that would favor Jeff Horn unless Manny Pacquiao just gets old overnight and his foot speed and foot movement just deteriorates uh, from the time this fight, you know, uh, is signed to the time the fight happens. Uh, because Bailey, who, you know, we all know he's been a very good professional throughout his career, one of the strongest punchers in history of boxing. He, he knocked out a list, a list of guys that you know are well named or well known, excuse me, in boxing, but he doesn't have the foot speed of a Manny Pacquiao, the angles, um, and the awkwardness of a Manny Pacquiao, and you know that was kind of his downfall as well. That he would he 41 years old, so I'm pretty sure if that fight with Horn took place five, ten years ago, he would he would have defeated Horn because he did, you know, set some traps being a veteran and a skillful guy that he is. He was able to land some some uppercuts, some left hooks, some right hands on him that uh, kind of caused you know him some trouble. But the body attack in that fight from Horn was tremendous, and I'll give him that. He does work the body. He digs deep to the body. He loves to throw that right hand in the clinch to the body. He does have some some dog in him. You know, if you go back and watch some of his fights, he has some dog in him. He has a decent jab. Uh, it's not a powerful one, but you know when he Throws it effectively. It, it, it's effective. Uh, he likes to throw the left hook, which is which is an okay punch, but he's susceptible. Excuse me, to um, the right hand. You know whether it's the uppercut or the right hook. And Manny Pacquiao being a southpaw, even though his power hand is his left, he's greatly improved his right hand um, throughout the years, and he can get you out with that one, with that shot as well. But like I said, he doesn't knock people out. He'll knock you down, but he doesn't knock you out. But I think he could. He could knock out Jeff Horn, and I would predict that he would knock out Jeff Horn, even though Jeff Horn would be four to five inches taller than him, have the significant um, reach advantage. He just doesn't possess the skills to keep Manny Pacquiao off of him. And let's talk about this fight a little bit with Ali from Naker, who uh, they fought uh, in December this past year. And Funaker, we all know he went – 24 rounds with John Guzman, who was a supremely talented guy. Uh, he fought Nate Campbell and a list of other guys. Sturdy Chin has been knocked down, but hasn't really been stopped until later on in his career. He's older now. He's known for being, you know, extremely tall. I think he's six feet. And when we was introduced to him, he was fighting at 135. Fast forward years later, he was, you know, fighting at 147. And he has some success against uh, Horn, you know, landing some of his, his own shots. Um, like I said, he stopped him with a right, I mean, he dropped him with a right hook, I mean, a right uppercut to the body. And that tells me that Horn is kind of just, he's vulnerable to, you know, shots, whether it's to the chin or to the body. I'm not saying he was extremely hurt um, when Funeka dropped him, but, you know, nonetheless, he was dropped. I don't think he possesses any really, you know, difficulties for Manny Pacquiao if Manny Pacquiao decides to blitz him he can do that if he out wants to outbox him he can do that because he's just a, 
a superior fighter to Horn. I uh, know he got a nice story, Horn. Uh, he's a former school teacher. He got he has youth on his side. He is 28. He has the height and the reach advantage on his side. Other than that, the uh, you know the advantages for him stops right there. Um, he just he just doesn't possess the skill set or the experience to deal with a guy like Manny Pacquiao. Yes, he has fought the you know very experienced Randall Bailey um, and Ali Fanaka, but he got both of those guys when he. You know, when they were, you know, in the later part of their careers. And I know you can say, Big Cool, well, that's how a lot of up-and-coming fighters get their names true. But eventually, they, they kind of start to, before they take a, a step from that all the way up to, you know, fighting an all-time great fighter, they continue to, you know, gradually take step step up fights. And he's just going to say, fuck that. I'm going to fly by, you know, a fight with Jesse Vargas or Timothy Bradley, which would have been a good litmus test for him, and sh go straight to Manny Pacquiao, assuming this fight um, this deal gets done, which Bob Arum, he he big on. He wants this fight to happen. He really do. Uh, Horns people definitely want the fight to happen, and why not? It'd be, be his career high payday, some w well needed exposure from casual fans who don't know who Jeff Horn is, but love Manny Pacquiao, and it'll, be, it'll give him a chance to potentially pull off one of the major upsets um, in boxing history. But I just don't like the fight. Um, but it's Manny Pacquiao's prerogative. I feel though. If he's going to fight, he should fight a guy that a lot of people would love to see, and that's Terrence Crawford. I'll discuss that in um, another video, but guys like Terrence Crawford, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Adrian Broner, um, those guys come to, my, come to mind when I think about fights I would love to see Manny Pacquiao in, not him versus Jeff Horn. But be as it may, that's the fight we're likely to get um, April 23rd in Australia at the Suncorp Stadium. Whether it be on pay-per-view or premium uh, television, we don't know. Or premium cable, I mean, we don't know. We'll have to see. But give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave those comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to Colossal Box and Talk. Head over to Facebook. Like our uh, Facebook page, Colossal Box and Talk. And follow us on Twitter at ColossalCBT. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> 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 <laughs>